Hey, welcome back everyone. It's great to have you here today. People sometimes talk about this idea of synesthesia, of seeing, t uh, seeing sound or hearing colors. But our next guest is going to show us how to feel through another sense. He is going to show us with his project Dip and Coat Kitchen Hues how to taste sound, or how to see tastes. His name is Illis Preacher and he is going to give us an audiovisual experience that borders to a dining experience. So I'm super excited to see that. Illis Preacher, take it away. Welcome everybody from the world of amaze. Thank you everybody. As now we're going to shift from our planet to another space, elaborate amaze. We went from the noodles to the ramen, and now you're preparing to be summoned to another universe, another place where it has different views, different hues, different colors, different spectrums, different audio, different sound. These are some of the things that we didn't know are around. Welcome to Colorscape. There were some technical difficulties on the ride as we, you know, transforming from Earth to space. But now we are here. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to Colorscape. Welcome to a maze. We're bringing you out of the world that you know now to a place that's similar but flows differently. So now, you know, there's seasick, motion sickness. Today, you might experience some color sickness, some audio sickness, but we are going to ease you into it. So right now, let me just transport you to this space. While I bring you to the color space, what I want everyone to do in the chat is just start telling me what is your favorite color, because right now you have to think of colors as just more than something you see. All the colors that you're going to hear today, see today, taste, are all in. So right now, embody a color right now and tell me what color it is. And if you can, how does that color taste? How does that color smell? How does this color feel? Is it crunchy? Is it smelly? Is it feely? Well, enough of me talking right now. Let's get to Colorscape. As you can see, I'm prepped. Got the goggles on safety first, got my hat on. We don't even maybe catch some color bits and then we can like do a dissection. And for all of those people wondering what could be in this world, there is a meal plan because right now these colors are digitally organic. Here's the meal plan because we want intensity in this, intensity, lumity, all of this combined. So in the chat, I just dropped the meal plan of what we may see in these meals. I'm seeing some light blue, some pink, some caramel color, caramel color that smells like onions, caramelized onions. Just before, Jay, you were talking about Beyond Burger. Would you have on your Beyond Burger, would you have caramelized onions? Purple like a cloud of grape. So that means the rain is really grape juice. And if it's grape juice, if it's going for a while, would that just be wine? Are we saying that we want wine from the sky? But like I said, right now, I told y'all that we're going to transport and I'm having fun communicating, but I got to stay on course because, you know, without discipline, we might never leave. <laughs> but keep communicating in the chat while, while, I, while I start trying to catch some colors. Uh, did you uh, share screen? Hmm.
y'all are worried, don't worry. As I'm saying right now, you can see the world that I'm in. It's very colorscapey. It seems that there's a lot of turbulence right now that's occurring. So this is going to be a tough mission, a very tough, tough mission. But as you can see, the colors are moving. Try, trying to make sense of this universe that's occurring right now. As you can see, the, the bits are just a little jaggy. It's almost like the fatigue of just being stimulated by all these colors, all the chat. Maybe I have to use echolocation like a bat. There is supposed to be some sound coming true, but the technician team on the ship is telling me that due to the turbulence, as you can see on the screen, there is some issues. But don't worry, y'all. Sweet apple pie, don't worry. Because the colorscape got you. Now we're going to go deeper in this foray. We're going to go deeper in this play. We're going to go deeper in a way that we get your emotions sway. We're going to make sure that you understand that this is like our universe, but a different plan. What are we tasting? We're tasting colors. Colors from all angles. What if I told you that some of the colors you mentioned are part of the thing, but first, First, we got to do this. This this has been a long trip. So now, so now I need I need y'all help. Depending, Depending on what you on choose, what you might, choose determine might determine the outcome. Determine the outcome. So as so, you can as see you on can the see screen, on, from my camera, from my camera, I am holding I am three, holding different, three colors. different colors: red, red, orange, orange, and, orange yellow. and yellow. What journey what should journey I should I Binge on. Binge on. What color should, what I, color drink? should, should I, I drink? Should I drink red, drink red orange, orange, and yellow? orange, and yellow? We have one we for have red. One for red. We have two for red. Three for red. I'm drinking the red at the moment. Might drink a little bit. So now I want you to tell what do you think the flavor of the red is? Do you think it's a cherry? Do you think it's a spicy pepper? Do you think it's a red delicious apple? Do you think it's wine, burgundy? What do you think it is? I'm gonna give the chat some time to think about that. How does it taste? How does it feel? Is this sweet? Is this something that will make your tongue red? Like the episode of Magic School Bus where they turn into orange, but you turn into red because you ate so many beats. Or is the beat the rhythm of my cadence, similar to the RGB values that are in spiciness, sweetness, deliciousness. These are all variables in the equation of the colors.
but now I'm deciding to switch to orange. Let me write in more codes to transform the red now that you chose then has decided to transform. This is the red fuel liquid that I was drinking. But I think the colors in the colorscape, as you can see, are trying to fog out. I don't think it agreed with y'all red. I think it want us to get deeper superficial. Avoid being superficial. It want us to get deep. So now think deeper. As you will realize in the meal plan, the colors in colorscape in this version dip in code are actually also name of food. So activating colors, it's not as simple as just saying red and blue. The colors also have to be one of the 47 ingredients that have been researched on this planet. And don't worry y'all, if y'all don't understand the digital organicness, I got you covered me with a couple of researchers while traveling to this colorscape world have realized three things all foods are colors all meals are a combination of food and colors and to appease the colorscape entities we're going to try to make this more colorful Transporting once again. While I do this second to get the deeper ingredients that are to make the meal that you are seek in order to unleash the seal, try to translate colors into emotions. When I say the word happy, what color comes to mind? When I say the word blue, what type of lines reside in your mind when you hear these lines? interacting with each other like if you're putting colors in a blender what colors will make the emotion of envy of disappointment of rejecting or intersecting your reflection that is inside while you do your internal inspection what wondering why this is happening in retro inspection why are the colors moving fluently what kind of due diligence is occurring when these verbs are coming? These variables are hunting. These variables are shouting. What happens? What goes in your mind when we're wobbling like this? Is it rerouting how you visit the colorscape? How do y'all feel? All right, let's slow this down a bit because it could be going too fast. Let's get a different shades of color. Let's slow it down. And let's get more colors.
as you can still see, I'm still here. The space has not control over me, but it is sort of hard not to be affected by these colors. I'm trying my best not to be overran by them. Trying my best. I hope y'all can still hear me because I am losing this battle to the colors. But it's okay. Because like I said, in this world, colors are the sounds. Colors are the entities. If you look at the link I dropped and you go to the sonification, we have even found the patterns for some of these colors that are foods. There's almond, there's rice, there's peppers, there's chicken. There's watermelon, there's burgundy wine and water, melon, grape, delicious fuzz that gets in your si system and makes it sizz, make it sizzle with the wiggle. Because sometimes even if you're in trouble, a color here, a color there can make it all just wobble. Thank you, Nico, for letting me know because the color influence is very... Very, very tough. But it's interesting. Now for a moment, just reflect. If you saw the color garlic, what would you seek? If you saw the color pepper, would your tongue try to run away and go into sleep? What about the carbs in relation to the colors? Would you get the itis and sleep? Or would you just be Memorized by the emotions, the taste, the sounds you hear as it goes so wonderfully deep. Take a minute to reflect. You said it is common and beautiful, so maybe you will like a dose of tea green. Now, this is the dipping cold color scape. The ingredients you see, you see their color values. Maybe you would like to eat by calories per cup. Honey, yellow, dark chocolate, chocolate, almond, crust, 
But like I said, all of these foods are not really just foods in this universe. They're also color. Maybe you might want to have the highest RGB value to eat. Maybe you want some milk with a pineapple lemon ice cream. Maybe you want some curry chicken with rice. Maybe you're looking for some salmon. So you just want some FAO72 in your system. Some water, wild watermelon. Maybe you want apple crisps. Maybe you like that golden hue. Maybe you feel like you just want a gold medal. As we know, the Olympics are coming true. And maybe you just want to ease it up and have some avocado toast. And put some mints just to make the level of green. Some mints. Maybe that's what you're looking for. Or maybe you might want to order by CMYK, where you want to have a vegan brownie with the main ingredient being the black bean. Maybe you maybe instead of having that burgundy feel, you want some Marlette red. And if you are wondering, yes, all of these colors are actually the name of the food. Maybe you want that chili pepper red. Maybe it's too spicy. So you want to add some honey, lemon to the chili powder. As you can see, there was a lot of research that went into this. You want some lemon, I see. There's lemon pepper salted chicken. Or would you want some pineapple lemon ice cream? And if we look at the pineapple lemon ice cream, we see the lemon, we see the lemon, we see the milk, we see the pineapple cream. Are these the colors that you want to eat? Are these the colors that you want to see? I heard someone in the chat say they wanted some Marlette Red. Marlette Red, a very good drink, 192 calories per cup. The red value is not so much, even though it is a red. It's not the highest red. So if you're trying to cut red out of your diet, it might be a nice option. It is very saturated. The lightness is not too light. Hmm. Now, we're talking about the food and the color. When we're looking at the current landscape, and this is what the researchers have told me, we don't even realize that subconsciously we know what some of these foods are, even when the tile is not there. Is this lemon or is this lemon? Is this honey yellow? Is this almond milk? Goat or race? If you can tell, this is salmon. The color reference that salmon or the food. Looking at this current graph, what do y'all want to eat? If you can just eat by the color alone, what aspects does it take? What values? I will keep scrolling so y'all can see. These are all foods just in their primitive color form. What do you want? What do you take? Goat, yes, goat is actually a color. This is the color goat. Do you see it? Does it resemble a goat? Or do you think it should be more gray or more white? The purple feels artificial. 
I can agree with that because the type of grape it is, it's not a regular grape. Not at all. That grape is actually a type of grape called Grapealicious. Grapealicious is a special type of color food combination that arises in the area of this. If we look at the meal plan, the meal prep. Goats have yellow eyes. And that's why you said you need to use goat nami. Goat curry goat is a nice color blend. So right now I'm just going to show you in this world the different meals that we had that you saw with the color. So this is all the meal combinations with their internal color. Yes, grape 2.0. A grape that has flow. Maybe it's a grape that doesn't grow in grass. Yesterday, we learned in one of the sessions that some plants germinate by being burned. Maybe this grape that is 2.0 actually grows in snow and doesn't grow that slow. Maybe it doesn't make grape vines. Maybe it makes grape slimes and then slide across the ground. So you pick it up and then it mixes in with your burgundy wine. Maybe when you're eating these colors, maybe you want to, maybe in the menu, you want the area that it, it will take inside. As you can see with the five categories of, that are in this meal of dip and code, we actually see the area per meal. So maybe you want a lower meal. Maybe you want a higher one. Maybe you want a snack form of every color. Take your pick. Apple crisp looks like a nice size, but if you're looking to fill yourself by having the RGB average, maybe you want to have T Gris. Maybe you want to have negative values in your H lab value. So this is just to show you how digital organic, like I said, this is 100% digitally organic food. And these are the variables. So if you're wondering of how we source these foods, this is one of the values. This is shows you the H lab values are in. Maybe you want a negative component. Maybe you want a positive component. Yes, slippery snow grapes is a new thing. They sort of researched that in 2021 but we're still trying to get data because you know, we're not trying to say we claim that we found it, but potentially we did. And what if I told you, as you can see on this map, we actually found it out. So when we're talking about the grape, watermelon grape fizz, it grows in the snow. You see that area? So it might be near a desert. So in this world snows, a tundra is just a frozen desert. And if we look at it per food, you see there, there's a lot that entities going in, but we realized after doing more research later on, which I can show you at a later time, or you can check in the mythology, we realized there has been a shift. All these foods over here were really here. And it seems that like over the years, from their national formation, they move towards mainland. And these are all the foods by ingredients and their actual color. So this is actually the color of peach cobbler. And this is the one of the variables of mint chocolate cake. This is the clusters, because it seems that in Colorscape, the food groups, since there are also colors, they have their own meals. So even though we had chicken, seafood, goat, and chicken, 
that was just stuff to make us understand. But by really, it's from our research, it seems like they have their own clusters. And as we can see here, one of the most interesting things in the research is that we can actually order by lightness. And then, and then after realizing the movement, we have found that they, the natural beings of the cell at a cellular level of these colors differ. So I'm just gonna say it there. Why is there rice and rice? Because there's jollof rice, which is a mixture of peppers, onions. And then there's also like curry, uh, curry chicken with rice. So rice pops up twice because it seems that there's two different types of rice in this world. You know how there's long grain rice, the sami rice? It seems like in this world, rice has the same properties but came in two different areas. So we have to show it twice on the database because we are uncertain. We are very uncertain if they really are the same variable. And right now what you're seeing on the thing is one of the, is the cellular level of all the colors. So I just showed you the colors before and now I'm showing you the granular cellular level, the decibels, the decimals of the individual food. So this is one pattern that arises that we realize comes from looking at the color variables of the food. So they sort of, if you can realize, they sort of move in this curvy thing and then overlap each other. Like it starts growing and growing and then it goes back. But then when we check the different movement, when we check the differences, then they start to spread out a bit more. And it's very interesting because now not only are we mixing color sound and food, three senses, we're also getting a feeling of physics, which is really the feeling of touch. And you see how the foods grow on this page. You see how they grow on their range. They're neither grass fed or meat fed or water fed. They're fed by their internal values. This is some of the movements. This is like, we, we have found four other movements, but at the moment, this is the movement. And then when we check the mythology of certain food classes, this is where it gets very interesting. As you can see over here, with the meal fat class that are human based on mythology, the word sauce appears eight times. But then when we go to the nature classification, we see the vegetable has pop up 24 times and also peanuts, fry, sauce, pea. There's no peanuts at the current dip in cold mythology. So what this can say is that there might be a lot of ingredients in their mythology that include peanuts. So what can it be that's peanuts? Is it the almonds? Is it the rice? Do they eat peanut soup? Or have they found ways that we haven't in our own world devised and conquered? What does the chat think? What do y'all think? And at the moment, what type of, I, I sent the link, what type of food are y'all trying to eat? Or how is this experience to be?
But as you can see, I'm actually prep right now to to cook up the meals. If you go into uh, the Colorscape site and you go into audio, the first Colorscapes are the original color deities. These are the nine colors that started the Colorscape. That's why it's called Colorscape Raw. But in the Colorscape in the kitchen, you can see the audio, the sound of what the foods make. And as you can see with my hands, I am devoted to find the thing. Got my apron on, got my chef hat, got my safety goggles. So we are not playing. Right now I have to be safe. I don't know. And the reason why I'm wearing white is because I'm embracing the mess. You know, you never go with to paint with a white shirt because it could get messy. But since we're dealing with foods that are also colors, part of the thing that we're trying to do is get messy so we can use those samples within. So as you can see, I am devoted to the chef life of Colorscape Dip and Code. So let's move. Let's get these things moving. Let's see what happens when I try to chef up these colors. Let's just see what occurs. I haven't drank yellow yet. Let's see what occurs when I start consuming yellow. Hmm. Damn, yellow's tough. Woo. Yellow had a kick. Yellow had a kick. Whoo! Whoo! Yellow had a kick. If you have questions about different code, let me know. As I know, this is a different world that we decided to roam, where the, the color of the snow might not be what we know. It may be red, it may be blue, it may be maroon, but that doesn't change the feelings that are captured in the room. As we are entering, a different world with a different hue. Maybe it's time for humanity to learn that we can see things differently if we change the view. If we choose to grow what we decided to grow from, or rather grew, will be something that achieved beyond just you and me and will spread to the rest of the human group. For this is true, or is it not? That is for you to decide. 
if these are facts or if these flop. But dip and cold will never drop. It would only erupt, but not lava. You know, cloudy is cloudy skies with a chance of meatballs, but this is a whole different story as the colors tell the story as it never stalls, it never walls, it goes back up. It only tells. And these are the tales that arrive. And these are the tales that are in stride. So thank you very much. If you have questions, don't be silent. Give a hunch. Because you never know what the colors talk or what they will say if they could walk. And if y'all are looking for more information, you can go in the world of Colorscape. There's sounds, there's animation, there's even data description, meal plans, there's even research dates. We even found research dates recently where some foods might have occurred back in the 1600s and might have different processes. Thank you very much for the process, for this test, for this mess. Yeah, uh, yeah, like I said, I had a couple backup plans. <laughs> because I really